Hello everyone out there in YouTube land. This is Phoenix Draconis coming with you with another Toy Hacks review. As you can tell, this Toy Hacks review is going to focus on the Studio Series 86 Hot Rod. And man, ever since I saw the, uh, you know, the promos for this as well as, you know, just looking on the Toy Hacks website, holy cow, man. I knew I had to get this set. So let's go ahead and take a look as to what we have here. So we get, as you can tell, some great decals. I think this is mostly for the car mode as well as for the bus saw, among other things. And this is on a reflective foil backing. Man, that is so awesome. Look at that. Ah, uh, in addition, you also have his flaming chest symbol, you know, for him in robot mode. And you can tell, you know, the, the border in robot mode, I'll put this side by side here, is a lot, a lot more yellow and there's an outline border around the flame. So that brings it out even more. And in addition, you have some decals for his, uh, for a spoiler. At least I think it's for a spoiler. I think it is for a spoiler. And some, there's a moth in here. <laughs> and of course, some uh, additional decals uh, for him that will give him more of a G1 look. I don't know if I'm going to put these on him. Uh, I'll probably review, I'll probably take a look at some of the images on, on toyhacks.com and I'll go ahead and make a uh, decision at this point. But uh, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and do a, a before and after shot and uh, I'll be right back. Now here is Hot Rod in robot mode as you can tell he pretty much you know is a very awesome looking figure i like the paint applications on him now uh, for anyone that has reviewed uh my figure review of of hot rod here you will you will notice that i did make a mention i love how it came out but i also think i also made a mention that i'm looking forward to some of the Toy Hacks labels to correct some oversights. Now, as we turn them around, you know, you do see a lot of multi detail on him. And as the light hits it, you do see some multi detail. And one more, take a look. And of course, you see you know, that awesome looking face and focus. There we go. Kind of shiny though, but you know, you do see. His, his eyes very awesome looking I love uh, how they added different paint applications to him and of course how he looks so uh, now that we got a chance to see him in robot mode before let's take a look at him after and wow originally I wasn't going to um, put on certain decals on him uh, sort of like the ones on the legs, but I, I don't know this gives him that whole G1 toy look and I have to say I'm very impressed though. I have to also say That one of the biggest pains in the asses That I had in putting on some of the sticker applications And I'm gonna zoom in here are for his eyes now originally he had those light sky blue eyes but this gives him a more shiny reflective look on his eyes as you can see and they were a pain in the ass i had to go ahead uh and open up his his head in order to go ahead and make sure they got on there now i did have because i don't know if i showed you the sticker labels here they showed four, uh, two sets. I lost, I lost 
a set <laughs> when putting this on so I wound up grateful that Toy Hacks provided us with a spare uh, let's see in addition though there's a couple of other sets on here and I'm gonna zoom out here zoom out just a little bit more and there is a label here and I'm assuming it's gonna be for his for his vehicle mode in his car though I have to go ahead and take a closer look at that uh, they got a couple other sets on there and according to the images on toyhex.com for hot rod uh, I think they go because they had him they had him uh, with the wheel well out and I'm trying to see if see if I can try and get that back in there okay so and ah where you go there you go and there and I need to Snap that in there. There. There we go. So they had the wheel wells out like so. Now, of course, in the G1 cartoon, uh, they didn't have that on there. I'm going to zoom in just a bit. So, so, uh, uh, let me show you here. I'm assuming, and I've seen some photos on here, they go right here and they are just about the right size there so i'm assuming that's where those go of course i hate to assume because you already know what that makes us <laughs> and of course you got the uh the reflective spin though it doesn't really spin all that well and now i had to Maybe it goes this way. Eh, either or. Yeah. So, not too bad. Uh, you know, in this particular case, in this mode. Um, also, I'm trying to see that. Oh, yeah. There's some other stickers on here. I'm not exactly sure where these are supposed to go. And also this blue. I'm assuming it's got to be for his visor. That's what I'm seeing. But, you know, there he is after. Oh yeah, almost forgot. Uh, he also had a second set of stickers that go on the underside of his spoiler in robot mode. So, I mean, you got some really good applications on here. Not too bad. I'm really liking it. So, so uh, let's go ahead and take a look at vehicle mode. Now, here we have Hot Rod in vehicle mode. And as you can tell, he's, <laughs> I mean, he's basically almost a spitting image of how he looked in you know in Transformers the movie very sleek very slender uh, of course you know he had something different back here of course you know we're we're just doing a quick overview you know of of how he looked and I have to say I am just floored with the way he looks here so and uh, of course, you know, you can see some details, you know, the flames on here. And of course, you know, the spoilers. Uh, you see the rims on his front tires, but not on his back, which is kind of a shame. I really wish Hasbro had done that prior to assembly. But it is what it is. And that's why we're going to go ahead and take a look after. And there is Hot Rod, all stickered up. And I have to say, 
I'm liking this. Now, there was an issue with one of the stickers earlier. This one on top here, right above the uh, the uh, main engine. In the process of transforming it, uh, that's when I discovered. Oh, okay. You know this uh, this empty space here. That's where the sticker goes. I kind of figured that out, but I figured, well, how the hell do you put it? The minute I was in the middle of transformation, that's when I realized where it's supposed to go. <laughs> Now, of course, I have to say, I'm still wondering about this sticker right here. And I think I just realized where it's supposed to go. And I believe it's supposed to go right over this. Like so. To, to cover that up. I kind of wish, whoo, this thing is going all over the place. Yep. Uh, I gotta definitely make a blooper reel. Okay, there we go. I really wish they had done stickers for this area here. You know, that would have cleared up that yellow. That or a, at least you know made it red to begin with but hey you know it's not all that bad now as you can tell I did not put an Autobot symbol because I really like the smoothness of it uh, you know but a lot of the uh, stickers as you see do tend to go ahead and transfer over very well like these stickers here on the arms here uh, the ones for his, you know, for his uh, tires, rear tires, I should say. Now, and of course, on the spoiler, you see that right here in the back. Now, of course, under on the underside, you do see, you know, a lot of his applications underneath. So, not all too shabby. But you know what? Since since you guys are here already, I think I will put that all about logo on there. If I can get it. There we go. Ta da! Right there. There we go. Very nice. Yay! So, yeah, very, very nice. And I, I like the, the decals for his, for his windows here, uh, just to, so it doesn't show off the head as you see in, on the inside. But uh, trying to make sure that I am not forgetting anything. Oh, that's right, these little deals. And I have to see where they are supposed to go. So, if anyone can tell me, leave that message in the comment section down below. I'd really like to find out where these are supposed to go. I want to say, yeah, no, they don't go here. I would have noticed it right off the bat. Alrighty, but nonetheless, I think I got everything. So, yeah, very nice. And it doesn't hinder the transformation. It still gives you enough clearance to where it doesn't scrape on the bottom, at least from what I can see. But uh, all in all, wow. So on a scale of one to 10, I would have to give this set a nine. There were some difficulties, as I stated earlier, on its applications or applying the, uh, the stickers on there especially around the eyes. It, like I mentioned earlier, uh, you have to go ahead and open up, you know, the, the helmet in order to get those on there. And especially if you're using tools, you know, such as my trusty plier, uh, make sure that you have an additional tool to hold, to hold it down once you get those, app, those uh, labels applied. Uh, that was one thing that, that I was uh, 
having an issue with. So I will give it a nine in this case. It's, it's a good set. It does bring out a lot more of the detail uh, for Hot Rod, especially around the chest and the hood. Uh, and does give the option of adding on certain decals to bring out that OG1 toy uh, aspect of it. So that is my take on the set. Have you gotten a set like this for your Studio Series Hot Rod? And if you did, let me know what it, uh, how you felt about it. Did you like it? Did you hate it? Leave that comment in the comment section down below. Like share subscribe to my channel please uh, also uh, when you click on to the bell icon you'll be notified when new videos appear so I'd like to go ahead and thank you once again for watching this is Phoenix Draconis and I will catch you all on the flip side peace Shortly after filming this video, I went ahead and decided to go ahead and see if anyone has had a problem with the extra, you know, with the extra stickers. Well, it just so happens that Patriot Prime had discovered that some of the decals, like this, down here in the bottom, I don't know anything about this one yet, uh, he, I don't recall him mentioning it, but there was, the two that I do have form this collar he's got now and I'm going to go ahead and zoom in so you can see right there there you go and that actually is a good looking you know what holy cow I just discovered oh my god I just discovered where those other two go they go up here on the helmet Holy cow, and there was, where did it go? Nope, okay, I was wrong. I thought there was another sticker on there, but I guess not. But yes, yes, that's where these go. Oh my God, holy cow, how, wow. So those will go right here on either side of his helmet. I mean, I'm not sure why they did that, but wow. That is awesome. Oh my God. And it didn't even dawn on me. But it's not in, it's not in the, uh, in the instructions on, on, on Toy Hacks. So that's something that, that you may have to go ahead and just be careful with. And look at that, 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 you know, not too bad, not much of a difference. It, the color matching works out very well. I really like that. So that's where those stickers you know come in and give me a moment because there was a set of yellow stickers right there that uh, that Patriot Prime also discovered so I'm going to show that off in a minute uh, the other sticker that I was talking about earlier were these right here I thought they belonged on the inside because um, Basically, one of the photos in the Toy Hacks site basically showed the wheels out, where the cartoon version, you don't see the wheels. Uh, but I was incorrect. Um, the, the added on decals in robot mode as well as in vehicle mode, I wound up seeing that on Patriot Prime's channel. I went ahead and did a quick search, like I mentioned earlier on YouTube for you know Studio Series or I should say for Toy Hacks labels for Studio Series Hot Rod and lo and behold his video was the first to pop up I checked it out boom I knew where the the next stickers came on but what I didn't see was 
the one that belonged on the helmet, which I did put on, as you saw. And then he mentioned these stickers. So they belong right here on the outside. However, in without fully transforming it, I had put them on this section. <laughs> So it took me a little bit of an issue, uh, not an issue, but it took me a little bit of time to slowly get that label off of this area and put it here properly. So there you are. So I just wanted to go ahead and update the video to where you guys are aware certain stickers are not going to be shown on the Toy Hack site. So if you do watch my review or Patriot Prime's review of the Toy Hacks labels, just be certain or just be aware that certain uh, stickers aren't going to show up. So just review the, the videos and you should be okay. So once again, I'd like to thank each and every one of you for watching my videos. This is Phoenix Draconis and I will catch you all on the flip side. Peace.